Today, we're gonna show you around a hotel in Manhattan where every room and every hallway has been curated by artists. And rooms start at under $100 a night. Let's discover New York's quirkiest hotel, the Carlton Arms. We're starting a new series on the channel where I show you New York's most interesting hotels and the Carlton Arms located in Kipps Bay, just a 15 minute walk from the Empire State Building. Thank you. Have a nice day, I love, man. I love your channel. Thank you so much. This place is going to surprise you from the second you walk in. Welcome to the Carlton Arms Hotel. This is or has become an artist hotel. We started painting rooms, I'd say in maybe 84. There was a group of artists living here. And as people left, the rooms had to be painted anyway. So they would have artist friends come in and paint the room. We have 54 rooms, five hallways, and we have shared bathroom. This one has a private bath, uh, but about half of them have shared bath, which Europeans are fine with, but sometimes Americans go, what do you mean, shared bath? What adjectives would you use to describe this hotel? The hotel's been called many things. Creepy sometimes, creative, crazy. My sister said this is like going to camp where there's not a whole lot of luxury. Camp in New York City, I guess, is this. I have to admit, if I just left my room and I, I saw these pharaohs on the wall, I don't know, I'd be pretty excited. It's like this hotel is one giant Instagram experience. Can children stay at the hotel? Yes. Okay, because I was yes. saying, like, if you had a kid, this would be an interesting choice for them. That was yeah. my thought. Kids really like it. As I said, every room is a different experience. This feels more like a museum to me. Who needs a TV when you could just lay down in bed and stare at the ceiling? I mean, you had professionals staying here and their job was to create this room and you know that they took a lot of pride in it. Even your bathroom is a work of art. I mean, even the pipes, the pipes up here are covered in artwork. And now we're gonna pull this and discover a tree in your shower. Like you, you could just turn this hotel into a museum, but I like it better as a hotel. Now, I know you guys are curious what one of the shared bathrooms looks like. This is a shared shower. Space to put your belongings here. You can take a shower and then you can look up at all those leaves growing everywhere. And then I pop out wearing like a suit. Yeah, right. This is the shared bathroom with toilet and shower. And uh, pretty basic, except you've got a pitcher for a shower head. I kind of want that actually for my shower. We have fellow YouTubers James and Carla here who, get this, designed this very room more than 10 years ago. Now, I know it's different now, but tell us about the process of actually designing a room here. We took photos from our book, you know, all different mom and pop storefronts and like we printed them out you know fairly small and we actually collaged them like onto the walls like we pasted all these photos onto the walls but it was so much fun and we met a whole bunch of characters while we were here because while you're decorating a room you know the, the hotel is open and active and you get to meet like all the guests come in and they're like oh what are you doing and you get to meet them this is probably the most famous room in the hotel designed by Banksy, you may have heard of him, the most famous street artist in the world. He stayed at the hotel while he was painting it. And this is before he became famous. It's not his style that he paints today. You know, as you can see, that's very whimsical with all the animals. There's some stuff in the hallway too. That's more of his style that kind of reminiscent of how he paints today and what he's become famous for. And you can even see like the rent is due, the ballot box with the dynamite. He always kind of, lots of times, makes a sort of political statement in his work today. So this is definitely more in line, more recognizable as opposed to the characters that you saw in the room. And I was reading that the hotel had offers to sell these pieces from the wall and they will not sell it. If my wife, Adriana, is watching, this is the room I think she would pick. It's just very elegant. A woman in the woods of Europe with a wolf. Really nice. I have yet to see a single normal light switch here. Everything has a purpose. 
My bathroom in Brooklyn would be a lot cooler if it looked like this. I would totally shoot a music video at this hotel. Wow. This could be yours for under $100 a night because you have to share a bathroom if you do the cheap rate, but you got a nice view here of East 25th, pretty close to Lexington. Actually quite a few bars and restaurants in Kipps Bay. Definitely not a boring neighborhood. Ben, what, what do you think? Would you stay here? Well, not in this room particularly, but the other rooms are pretty cool. What's wrong with this room? It's very creepy. Mm -hmm. Are you scared? Creepy. <laughs> if they don't want a whole lot of art and stuff going on, this is one of the rooms that they might be more willing to accept. This is the most normal room. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This room has got this Eastern theme. We have some, I believe that's Hindu? I would actually think this room would be great if you turn the light off and you looked up and the stars were shining somehow, which I don't think is the case. But that's what I would do if I was personally designing this room. You know, you're not paying for the view here. You're, you're paying for the experience of the hotel. You're paying to have art really in every single corner. If you're looking for a luxurious weekend, this isn't it. Although we've had people stay here for their honeymoons and, and we have people that this is exactly what they're looking for. It's a safe place for, for people that I say get it and I don't know exactly what that means, but some people will come here and they're expecting a cheap holiday inn, uh, but we are not that. We get to meet really wonderful people, great artists. Uh, our application process consists of, can we get along with you? Now I have to say this hotel is not for everybody. For one, there's no elevator, so you may have to take your suitcase up a couple of different floors. Rooms aren't the biggest as I showed you, and half of them have shared bathrooms. So if that's a deal breaker, this would not be the right hotel for you. I personally love this hotel. Tell me in the comments, would you stay here though? I'm curious, you wanna book it? I'm putting a link in the description. Special thanks to John the manager, James and Carla. Guys, thank you so much for watching as always. Till next time. That mirror just completely creeped me out of nowhere there. Like I don't wanna stare at myself. Thank you so much. You film, Ben, you filming this? What the heck, man? Paparazzi.